this always says 85. <laughs> Either it's just always 85 when we decide to put it on, or if it's broken. I have spent the last week staring, just like, I have no idea what to do next. And so I'm doing kind of nothing, even though I could be editing those scans, but I have been spending so much time just like obsessing over things like YouTube stats, which is so silly. You guys have been leaving some really thoughtful comments, um, especially in the social media uh, overwhelm one. Uh, that was a lot of good stuff there. The thing is, like, I don't even know what I want. Like, I don't know if I want to get a big channel or if I should change my schedule. I kind of caught up. I don't have a backlog of videos anymore, so I'm kind of like every Wednesday I'm rushing now to get things done instead of being able to take time to know like is this a worthwhile idea but i can't do sketchbook tours all the time and i can't try new products all the time i feel bad for people who subscribe for that specific thing and i just i can't even do it more than a couple times a year something cool came in though so this zine came in much wider like robust and much smaller physically than i was expecting i thought this was just like a regular um, magazine you'd see in a magazine rack. This. This is nice. And I've been meaning to like talk about it on social media, but they make so many of these <laughs> at one time, it seems, that I can't tell. Uh, I didn't know which version I was in, and so yeah, that's what this is. It's all women, and they're like uh, prose, short stories, and poetry related to i don't know it says the theme is city rhythms but i remember it being more like um mental health in the city there's not a lot of art <laughs> but here's here's one that's such an old piece but it's just so relevant and it has to look good in um grayscale so names on the back this is all the people who are in here most of it is wonderful writing and i cannot wait i have an extra one but i don't know what to do with it it's supposed to be heckin hot this weekend greater vancouver i think our maximum temperature is like 35 degrees celsius they say it's gonna feel like 39 or 38 or something like that not looking forward to it not looking forward to it. i know that that's not like hot hot <laughs> It's gonna suck and people here don't have air conditioning so yeah we'll probably still go outside because it's probably nicer outside than it is inside there's no point in staying home I feel like I've accomplished nothing in this whole week and I think I might not post anything. I haven't actually missed a week on YouTube like ever. It's been like it's been a long time. It's been many years and I've been making videos like every week for a long time. I don't feel like anything is really going over that well. What what do people want? Like what should I be making? I mostly just do whatever I want, but it's it feels different. Um, part of that might be seeing my videos show up in like a local newsletter. <laughs> it makes me nervous, which means that there are somebody like scrounging around looking for things. I think a lot of my old subs were related to art journaling. I might do something like that. Half of you like long videos, half of you like short videos. I feel like I don't know what to do. <laughs> I know a lot of people like human artwork and stuff bright colors and i really like that and so i was like doing a draw this in your style challenge because that does help me a little bit 
in the algorithm. Really what, it's not an algorithm, it's really just people looking at hashtags. That's not a trick, it's just what happens on the internet. Um, and I wanted to try one of those, but every single time I do a draw this in your style, and a lot of it has to do with like the pressure of recreating another person's art. Uh, I don't want to like disappoint or offend them. And also I didn't realize that this one was actually a contest draw this in your style and I don't want to enter any contests. I just wanted to like participate in, in an activity that people are participating in, right? Every time I do one, I don't like it. I just, I just don't like it. Like, I just want to sit down and draw one thing in one sitting kind of situation. That doesn't really produce like good work most of the time. So I just, I do these things and I don't post them. <laughs> Even though I know like a, probably a bunch of people follow me on Instagram this year just because of random um, human artwork. But every time I try, I just, it just, I can't, I just can't post it. I'm too embarrassed to post it. And it's not that I think that this is bad. I, it's kind of cute, but like, I'm too afraid to show anybody. It's like, I didn't get any actual like cleaning chores done today because I spent the whole day um, trying to chase somebody down on on PayPal because somebody used my actual name and email to open an account and their like online assistant is just a robot that reads the frequently asked questions at you. Their phone service, even with the passcode, is just a robot. Their Twitter account is a robot. I'm pretty, like it's not a bad robot. <laughs> I'm still like, I'm pretty sure it's not a real person, but it's quite good that sounds very human. It's just, it's not something I wanted to worry about this weekend. I wanted to worry about sweating my butt off and, <laughs> but I mostly just worry about the cat. I don't know what to do with the cat. She's got a coat on all the time. I went to visit my parents when it was 40 degrees up there and I'd never felt anything like that. Like that was, I was miserable and irritable. And you know what my parents were doing? In the sun, lounging. Like, <laughs> if they can, like, lounge in that, then I think we'll be okay. <laughs> because... He's coming right for us. Oh my god, he's here. What? Where are you going? What? Who feeds rabbits? <laughs> he's so, he's got his ears perketed. So cute. Trick him. Teach him not to trust you by disappointing him terribly. Thirty-seven degrees outside, but only thirty-two degrees inside. Yeah, my poor cat's so hot. Why don't you take this wet cloth that I gave you? Mm. It's finally happening. Just as the internet has foretold. And we're probably only going to have one page for Patreon this week. <laughs> It's just uncomfortable in here, you know? I'm so wet. My clothes soaking. My head sweaty. Computer ridiculously hot. I get that having um, a stainless steel computer for gaming is brilliant, except that it vents out through the metal, so I'm touching it and it's like, I could probably cook something on this. And it's gonna be me. Um, I might make a frog butt sticker uh, digitally, mailing things out while my brain is not working. I have so many like crow things that I could start. It's only a few more days of this. It's only, it's only a little bit longer. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Hmm. 
How's it going, Bitten? You made another day? Hmm? I'm gonna have to hang up the uh, blanket today, probably. Yeah, it's so hot yesterday. Yes, yeah, so hot. I'm taking one of Bai Bun's art journaling classes because um, she's having a sale. I thought about taking a week long art break where I'm just kind of like doing more explorational stuff. Not a lot is happening. I want to go camping so bad. Because at least then we can hang out on the river the whole time, you know? <laughs> Came it in? <laughs> it's working outside. I've had the fan blowing for like two hours. And it's still nice and warm in here. We only actually turned the heat on maybe like one, two weeks out of the year. So it's really, really hot in here all the time. Today is very nice. And our living room, I think the highest it got was 96, I think. Nothing insane, but it's insane for us. This was the first morning for a while that we've had cool air. By the time you see this, there's probably still plenty of time, maybe a week, but there is a humble bundle with art software, Rebel. This lets you do watercolor effects, I think is something that you can do in Procreate, but I don't have an iPad or anything like that. So, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to try it because I suck at digital art. I didn't even know this was a thing. I am so out of the loop, you guys. Hate in your eyes. Oh, that was sweet. That was a sweet, sweet blink. I got a little original piece of art in the mail. Look how cute. I think she said it was from a sketchbook or something, so it has a sketch on the back too, which is really fun. And this little handmade thank you card. This is by Ekaterina of, I believe, Tulintu on social media. She's from Russia, so like, look at these cool stamps. So fancy. It's like gold. So for this sketchbook zine that I've been wanting to put together for a while, I'm kind of going into it blindly and didn't really know what I was doing before I scanned them. So I'm working with these. And I thought that it would be really fun to keep the background color because that's what I like about that sketchbook. But it would be impossible to get the background consistent and make it look okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to work with what I've got and try to remove all the color and then whatever I lose in the detail of the sketches I'm just gonna have to sketch over it and redo it a little bit. Uh, I wasn't really expecting to go quite this in depth with this but uh, this is just something that I guess I could do in the evening when I'm otherwise just loafing around chilling out. I'm not super good at digital art um, and I don't know how you guys use these hard tablets, like the pain is real. Definitely feeling some hand and arm pain this morning after doing, you know, six pages of this. And if I wanted to print these, I guess I could just print them on cream paper or something. I'm just not really sure if I want to make actual copies of stuff when there's nothing really kind of going on and no way to sell them at the moment. <laughs> but there's no point in waiting for the perfect time to do to make a thing. It's probably better just to have things ready to go, right? Yeah.
So cute.